presenting this slide will help you understand what, how the pulmonary circulation is connected to the, 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 the heart, the systemic circulation. Right, let's explain what's happening here. Now, we've got to think, what we can see here is the heart is a double pump. Every time the heart contracts, every time your heart beats, the right side sends blood to the lungs to be oxygenated. The left side sends blood to the body, to all of the working muscles and tissues. So each heartbeat, you're having this double pump situation occurring. Blood going off to the lungs and the oxygenated blood going off to the heart. And because it's a closed circuit, the heart's always got oxygenated blood on one side, deoxygenated on, the, on another, and it's continuously going around in a cycle. So let's have a look at this. So you, 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 you've gone for a run, your, your muscles are working really hard, you've used up all of your oxygen, the blood is deoxygenated, it's returning into the right atrium, and it's going into your right ventricle, and then it's pumped through the pulmonary artery, the only time arteries carry deoxygenated blood to go to the lungs. And it's the alveoli, the air sacs that we were talking about, and the capillaries, which is illustrated a bit more generally here, where the gaseous exchange is taking place. We're picking up oxygen, we're, we're getting rid of the CO2, which is being breathed out, okay? Then that oxygenated blood is coming back into the left atrium, goes into the left ventricle, and it's being pumped out to the rest of the working muscles again as we're exercising. And it's that double pump that's the situation that we've got to remember. The heart is doing both of these at the same time. Ox Deoxygenated blood to the lungs, oxygenated blood to the working muscles, and that cycle just continues, okay? So uh, you, that's the thing that you've got to kind of get your mind um, uh, focused 